Alrighty, so we just started this job this morning. We've been here about two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, we had to board that one wall. Kevin came in and boarded that wall for me, so it's all ready for me to start plastering. I ran around and I pre-filled, there was like a, a, a border there and there was a really big lip because I'm gonna try and make this all flat, right? Um, I just went and pre-filled that to bring it to the same kind of surface. So now I can start the build up, the first build up coat. So this is just pre-filling. And we're just going up to here. So all the way around, I had to pre-fill that, mask everything out. And then here, there was a really bad patch. So we've filled that in, it is flat now. So it should skim out good on our first coat across the whole surface. Should look all the same. So right now it's just a matter of going for a break, 15 minute break, let it set up a little bit, and then it can start skimming right over that stuff. So there we go. It's looking good and there's not much on the walls. Still gonna clean them up anyways. Anything I do notice like uh, all this stuff down here, I'm gonna scrape all that off and then fill it flat right across just so that way the trim sits nicer on it. I'll fill that hole up too. So all the way around I'll do that. Just to make it look nice. So the trim will probably cover that, but just to be safe, I'd rather do it. So day one, we're gonna go for a break. We're gonna come back in and we're gonna get this whole surface all coated out. All right, so here we are day one. We've got the whole wall boarded. In the start of this video, I showed you how I pre-filled everything. So everything was flat, so I could start the skimming process. So this is the first coat, the flat coat. This is gonna make everything true flat. From here I can pre-sand and then start the skimming, the finishing coat process. So it's gonna be two more tight skims on everything and then one coat on the inside of the angles, the corners. So it's looking pretty good. There wasn't much on the walls. Down on the bottoms, I, I cleaned all those up so that way the trims will sit flat on there again. So now it's just a matter of waiting for everything to dry completely so we can pre-sand. So I'm actually not gonna come here over the weekend. I'm gonna leave it to dry until Monday and then I'll come back Monday morning with my partner. We'll grind it out. Well, first we'll plastic everything off, seal it up tight, and then we'll grind this out and then we'll sweep it up and then we'll start the skimming coat process, the finished coating process, sorry. So as you can see, all those, I cleaned them all up. So that way your trims are gonna sit nice and flat. Anything I've seen on the walls, I cleaned up. Sorry, it's the sun's glaring. Can't really see too good here. So this here is where that patch was. So I had to fill it up with Sheetrock 90, let it set up a bit, and then now I've just loaded over it. It looks really ugly in this area compared to the rest of the ceiling. And that was done purposely. I've overbuilt it a bit, so as it shrinks, it, it'll come right too flat. I'll be able to sand it and then start skimming right over that. I might even just give that little area where the patch was one quick skim coat going the other direction before I start skimming. And then I'll start skimming the ceiling from that side and work my way across. By the time I get there, it'll be set up enough that I can go right over it and it'll feather everything out proper. So it's all flush and flat. Here it looks really ugly because I stopped, I stopped here to do all this ceiling and then I started back so I'm just gonna leave that like that, same thing when I coat this tomorrow. 
or Monday when I show up. When I skim that just to build it up a little bit more, I will go right across this just like a factory joint, one strip right down the middle to fill that in. And then same thing, once I start skimming over there and work my way across, it'll be set up enough that I can skim right over it and it'll turn out just fine. So there we go, everything is, is flat coated now. So from here, it's just a matter of letting it all dry completely. And then I can start pre-sanding and then finish coating. So it'll be two more days of finished coating. And then the final day will be finished sanding. So three more days on this job. So four in total. We care professional plastering services. We really do care and I'm sure it shows in our work. Have a good day.